Hello, friends. And we're back outside the lodge, ready to turn this artifact in. Nobody asks any questions about where we got it. Noel sure seems worried. Noel's always worried. Vladimir. Vlad, come in. Come in. The eye's gone completely dark. I, I can't reach anyone on the station. Uh. Noel, Starborn came out of nowhere. Bastards. Vladimir, get out of there! He already left. Said he was going to, uh, to the lodge. Ah, oh, sick. Sarah, she's she's still breathing, but oh god, all that blood! Hello, constellation. Are you there? Oh my god, is this that dude? Uh, Who are you? Is wearing all black in the coffee shop? What did you do to our friend? What was that episode two? They call me the hunter. And now that I'm here, your part in glimpsing the unity is over. I'm already on my way. Say goodbye to your friends. It won't be long. Dick. Forget about us. <laughs> That starborn bastard is after the artifacts. You can't let him take them. Pack up the collection, move it somewhere they can't find it. He's right. We need to bunker down here and get those artifacts ready to move. Might need every gun to hold that starborn off. What about everyone kill him. on the eye? We can't leave them to die up there. Watch each other's backs. We're not losing anyone else today. I don't know how long it's going to take to pack up the artifacts. I... I'll get started. Hopefully this will only take a few minutes if my hands Bend can stop shaking. Lock. Everyone take cover. Now. Where? You really expect them to barge through the front door? I'm not expecting them to ring the bell. Could you all keep it down? I'm trying to work here. Need a little time. Walter, are you all right? I mean, they are like 40 levels higher than me. Okay, okay, okay. I'll... <laughs> I'll, I'll take it serious. I'll take it serious. Vladimir. Vlad, come in. Come in. The eye's gone complete. No end. Vladimir! He already yep, yep, yep. left. And the lodge. Hello. Who are you? They call me the hunter. You're I'm dead. On... Forget about that. Pack up the collection. He's right. What about everyone on the Watch each other's back. I don't know how long it's gonna be. Hopefully this will only take a few minutes if my hands can stop shaking. Everyone take cover. Now. Where? Do you really expect them to barge through the front door? I'm not expecting them to ring the bell. Could you all keep it down? I'm trying to work here. <laughs> Just depositing themselves on the floor.
<laughs> and I got a thousand bullets with your name on it. to just disappear like that? What the heck? That was an elevator. Forgot about my gun stash down here. There was two hunters. Almost killed both. Got to the ship. He's gonna like be on my ship. Is someone gonna die? Uh, like, is it gonna be like, oh, they're in the story, you lost a companion? gentlemen. Oh, I'm glad UC security is helping out. I have a bounty. I was looking for a terminal to pay that off real quick. Oh, does he come back at like certain intervals? Oh, you killed me. I need this long to regenerate. I'm gonna come touch you again. Grenades? Cryo mines? Cry cryo? Cryo? Cryo in the chat?
Can't believe that they're cheating like this. Someone just give me booze as I was running by. Questions that. Uh... I have to admit, this has been interesting. What are you going to do with the armillary now? I'm going to shoot you out of the sky. Scorpius is a stupid ship, man. Restrained vengeance. In case you didn't notice, I have a way of getting around on the scene. Although I'll admit, retreat is a humiliation I've had to endure in some time. You should be proud. I want to know if I can blow him up. That's right, it was a mistake. I have a lot of stolen stuff on me. Probably would be ideal if I didn't get busted. Put the pearly gates already. We, we're gonna finish this thing for you, okay? Sarah, we'll solve this mystery, I swear. She's. She's gone. Come on. I'm gonna kill Hunter. Let's get going. There's no changing anything now. I can't put this. There's dead. Okay. I called it, I guess. I admit, uh, my famous personality wasn't so much help with this one. I'll be fine. I just uh, need to lie down for a bit longer. Yeah. Yeah. He, he came out of nowhere. Thank you. Uh, I don't think I can move right away. But I'll make it. 
go on. And Vlad still kicking. But you're alive. Krix's ghost can keep waiting. No tears for the old. Got the others to worry about. I saved you for last. Oh well. Vladimir. Oh, thank goodness. Where's Sarah? You can. You can see her. We. Uh, we need to talk locks and bolts. Lodge and the eye are not secure. They sure are not. Years in the making to modify the station. Take time to fix the damage, but more is the worse if we abandon her and try to start over. Just means he's playing the waiting man's game. He'll be back once we've done all the work of collecting the other pieces. The hunter I am. He probably found us because we're somewhere obvious. High populated area. Just like how the Starborn found you orbiting Neon the first time. But the fact that they're competing with us to find the artifacts means they can't get them without searching. So we put the artifacts somewhere in the fringe, or on something that can slip from their grasp if they do another strike from the curtain. Put on my ship. Fine idea. Starborn show up, you can burn helium in one spin of the grab drive to anywhere. Here, keep the artifacts safe. I guess we'll meet back at the lodge after. You can I build the armillary on your ship or outpost? Okay. Something? Shut up, Heller. Why are you still alive? Damn, Larry. Man, I just wanted to paint. Copy that. Stupid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If you were a victim of the recent attack, please remain calm. UC security has everything under control. There's been an incident. Please continue going about your business. Check out that stuff. I love. That's so sick. It's still listing items that it's taking away from me. That's so tragic. Exploring space. You worry you'll lose people, but this. Yes. 
The worst part was I couldn't even use the, uh, the gravitation stuff on Starborn. <laughs> you know, because they have Starborn powers. It makes sense. I'm just mad about it. I may. I know our encounter with the hunter is the last thing anyone wants to talk about right now, but he said something that I can't get out of my mind. Was it the Unity stuff? Unity. Do you remember that? Because he was stopping us, implying that we were getting closer to it. The thing is, I've heard that word before. It's an important concept in Keeper Aquilus' speeches. The priest? Is the Sanctum Universum going to bless our little crusade of discovery? It can't be a coincidence. The Sanctum has always believed that answers are out there in the stars. Look, I know it's the longest of shots and the biggest leap of faith I could ever ask us all to take, but... Why not talk to him? Yeah, I guess it couldn't hurt. I've heard the Keeper's a pretty insightful guy. Thank you. I know it's not much to go on, but something about this feels right. I'll meet you over there. We can pay to fix the damages. Oh, let's grab the belongings, I guess. Seems like a weird... <laughs> what if I just started wearing it? See what asked. I think that, that's this district, right? Mateo ran off without me. <laughs> what a little monster. I, did everyone show up? Yes, exactly. It's like... Keeper Aquilus, can we have a moment? Oh, Mateo. It's been too long. How are your parents? Your mother's still struggling with that azalea garden? No, she figured that out a while ago. Had to adjust the pH levels in the soil. But, Keeper... I didn't come to catch up. Oh. Well, what's on both your minds? We need to talk about unity. Oh. Yeah. How humanity comes together. Uh, how we are to love each other, even as our universe becomes even more complex. That's not exactly what we mean. <laughs> no. Keeper, when you talk about unity, well, does it mean anything else? Something... secret? Perhaps we should talk about this inside. We're going to church. Oh, no, 
now that we have a little privacy, why don't you tell me exactly what outside. it is that brought you two here? They're like nothing we've ever seen, Keeper. Gravitational distortion, sub-audio harmonic sequencing, unidentifiable energy fluctuations. Uh, I caught half of that. So, these things are unusual? Even in your experience? There have always been mysteries that seem to defy our understanding of the universe. Beyond rational thought, we enter life as an act of someone else's faith in us. There's no way of knowing who we will become, and yet the risk is made anyway. So you've pushed into the unknown, not knowing where it would take you. And it's brought you here. Uh, yeah, give me answers. And I think I can help. If you're willing to find your way in the dark for a bit longer, I can give you a path to discovering its meaning. There's an old story, far older than the Sanctum Universum, of someone who walked the settled systems and saw every corner of it. This pilgrim claimed he found the true meaning of unity. I always thought of it as just a parable for trying to bring humanity together, but... Maybe it's more. <laughs> Give me facts. I understand you have doubts. But walk with me just a little bit further. Sure. In my story, the pilgrim met the founders of the House of Enlightenment and the enigmatic cult of the Varun. Of the Varun people. And he gave them each a part of the truth. Then he goes to his final resting place to live out the rest of his days in contemplation of infinitum addendum, his addition or contribution to the infinite. But what if the story isn't a metaphor, but a code, a way of finding the pilgrim again, or at least his grave? I agree. I think you need to talk to them about this unity pilgrim. And clearly, not just in a theological sense, as I have. The enlightened work out of the well here in New Atlantis, helping the poorest citizens find a better life for themselves. The rune worshippers are more enigmatic, but there is a lone zealot that was captured recently for attacking UC ships. I visited her a couple of times. Hopefully, she'll be willing to talk to you as well. Hopefully. Stay here with the Keeper. We need to catch up. And I wouldn't mind asking him a few more questions. Hi, hey, I'm Mateo. Make me do all the hard stuff. Broke kneecaps for that dude at Galbank. That's sad. I mean, there's still time. Said it could really use something like that. For what? All that dust there? You can throw a rock from one side of your town to the other. Asking for trouble. Hey. A visitor? I have all the company I need. The Great Serpent shall reveal himself and shroud the entire universe, leaving only the faithful. Why do you hide among the accursed? 
You are promised. May you live eternal at his sight. That's me. Okay. I wasn't expecting all of the... this. Now, Kindred, what is it you need from me? I require no company. He knows not the truth. He sends another to ask more incessant questions. I never can make heads or tails of these guys. The Great Serpent waits in the shadows. He will entwine the universe, and all but the faithful will be made as dust. That is the truth. No more, no less. It would be really helpful if you told us about it. If that even matters in the slightest to you. Yes, I have spoken to your keeper about this. I will tell you what I told him, and then you will leave me. Jinan Varun will I? the unbeliever. He gives false prophecy to Jinan. But such is Jinan's conviction in the great serpent. He does not hesitate. He cuts the unbeliever down. But the unbeliever returns. Jinan realizes the great serpent is testing him, and he will not be found wanting. Four times they fight. Over 120 rotations of the planet they are on. Remember these four battles, Jinan, the Unbeliever says. Remember these 120 rotations. But Jinan knows this is blasphemy and delivers the killing blow. That is all. I have heard of no such thing. If it exists, it is a shadow that the Great Serpent casts to deceive the Faithless. Then we are done. Leave me. And take this. It is of no more use to me. And it is better kept by a promise of the Great Serpent. Hell yeah. Sad. It's worse. What does this got? Better? It's better. Carry capacity is hard to get rid of on the... Surprised I've yet to see the inside of a security office. Here's hoping the street continues. Because you're a weenus, Co. And down into the well. in your eyes for a minute. I don't think this day could get any better. That was cool door opening. There's a lot of work that needs to be done in the well. A lot of people in need. If it's about the financial or food assistance programs, we are backlogged. Don't worry, we're doing everything we can. Oh, you're not. Sorry. Can I help you? Did Keeper Aquila send you? Oh, boy. Look, <laughs> I know it sounds crazy, but it's important. Really important. Listen, I've talked about this with him a ton of times, and there's no record of a Unity Pilgrim. But since you both insist, our early records are mostly administrative. Humanitarian projects, group counseling notes, charity expenditures. But there is a series of exchanges the founding members recorded in a lot of detail. It's the closest thing I have to what Aquilus is describing. A man walks into the first house of enlightenment. The founding members just call him the Drifter. So they think he's a charity case at first, but no. The Drifter asks them a bunch of questions. If your philosophy is built on an individual's own morality, what about the second person? 
That second person might disagree. Isn't the problem of two what you're really looking for? And the founders respond, each individual must understand how the second person lifts them up. All of human effort is a story of cooperation pushing us forward. And it kind of goes on like that. He comes back every week for a year. Same conversation every time. Second person this, the problem of do that. It's part of our core principles. There's no God pushing us to do good for some eternal reward. We have to help each other because we choose to. If no one takes responsibility for making the settled systems better, then we're just leaving it to the tyrants to bully the rest of us. Honestly, I think the founding members made it all up. There was a little more hesitation being openly atheist in the early days. I think they were experimenting with writing their own scripture. Fortunately, that got abandoned pretty quick. After the records of the Drifter end, you never see anything like it again. Always happy to help. If you'll excuse me, I've got a lot of aid efforts to coordinate. Man, I don't understand any of this. Am I supposed to? You let me know in the comments. You understand it, and I'm just an idiot. In conclusions. Hello? What's going on with this game? I'm still in the well. Didn't do anything, but maybe enough time has passed where it's like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. you can use this button now. Or not. Am I stuck here? Stupid. I'm gonna talk to Sam Co. He's a bigot. Apparently it's a problem for him that I'm part of the Serpent's Embrace. Killed Mateo. Well, you're back. What did you learn? Was there something hidden in those stories, like we thought? If there really is a location the Pilgrim wanted us to find, those do sound awfully like coordinates. What else did you learn? Hmm. Planets are often named by number. That second might mean the second planet in the system. Was there anything else? Yes. What he added to infinity. Maybe that points to a name. If we're looking for his resting place, we'd need to know the name of the star system, wouldn't we? Let's see. We have something that could be coordinates. Something that could point to a planet in the system. But what's the name of the system? Infinitum addendum. What if we break down the parts? No systems named finite or add. That just leaves in and dumb. <laughs> well, that's certainly how I feel. I say, is it endum? Yes, that's it. The second planet 
in Indum at 4 and 120. That's where you'll find the pilgrim's resting place. And from there, maybe you'll find the true meaning of unity. Before you go, you've now spoken to many different perspectives in our universe. In a way, you'll be carrying their philosophies with you on this journey. I know you're looking for a specific unity, but if you had to guess what it was, what interpretation would you give it? And once you know, what will you do? Even the most objective scientist holds a belief that observation itself will be of benefit to humanity. You will be taking a similar part of yourself with you when you find the answer. Will that not color your perception of it? So you're committed to keeping yourself from seeing unity as anything other than a rational objective, mm -hmm. a goal you're bound to reach. I know belief is that. kind of your job, but usually the scientific answer is the right answer. Well, I won't keep you any longer. This has been fun, I have to admit. Go, find your truth. Thank you. I will go find uh, my truth. When that time's right, I'd... Yeah. Sam, I don't care. I don't know how to make this more clear to you. Um, let's jump to Indum. See if we get jumped in space. We didn't. That's good. Good. Pilgrim's Rest, Scanner, Anomaly. Oh, there's a power. Let's land at Pilgrim's Rest. Scan you, you little beefalo. Right. Old face grazer. Please don't be hostile. Just be cool, man. Let me get a couple of y'all. So there though, and I will see you in whatever this uh whatever this wherever I'm going. I don't know I don't know about it. We'll see you over at Pilgrim's Rest in the next episode. Thanks for hanging out. Bye.